guys I am back for another video I am so excited today we are going to be talking about well I guess we could kind of say we're going to be like discussing you know the word slut you know I don't think it's that bad um, some people get really hurt you know mainly women get hurt when they get called a slut um, however the reason why this topic sparked my interest is because I was driving a couple days ago and I had my windows down and I'm driving through town, through the city, you know, and <clears throat> I stopped at a yellow light which was just about to turn red and I believe the person behind me, because I don't think it was somebody on the sidewalk, but the person behind me was like, you slut, like they yelled it out or whatever. And so... I just turned my music up louder because I'm not going to, you know, dignify that with a response. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know what I am, and obviously I'm not a slut. <clears throat> Men, you know, they don't get called sluts. They usually get called man whores. Whatever. Um, so if I actually was... A slut how to feel if you actually are a slut and you get called a slut okay I would feel I would act I wouldn't feel happy um, I wouldn't feel sad either though um, I would probably just own it. whatever people try and shove down your throat to make themselves feel better that actually was not a good thing to say for this kind of video like slut and then saying that yeah that was just ignore that I said that oh, she she dresses like that so she must be a slut or you know I saw or I heard that you know she slept with this person so she's a slut whatever um <clears throat> so my opinion on this is just like just own it I mean even if you did do some dirt you know by your lonely or whatever um shout out to naughty by nature hi but I'm just saying, like, even if you did do some dirt or whatever, like, you don't have to tell your business to anybody. You don't owe anything to anybody. Um, you did it because you wanted to. Don't do it because you're pressured, though. Only do it if you want to. <laughs> and whatever it is, it, it could be like a kiss, like whatever, all the way to, you know, monkey sex, whatever. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, just do it because you want to, but don't let people put you to shame because of it. You know, like you did it because you wanted to and don't apologize for anything that you do unless you did something wrong to somebody else and they're requiring you to apologize so that you can get something out of them that you asked for. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't use people. But if you feel used and abused because somebody called you a slut, you know what you tell them? You look in their face and you call them a slut right back. You say, you know what? I'm not the slut. You're the slut. And then you say, and then they say, no, you're the slut. Then you say, we can be sluts together. Two sluts. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. <laughs> you don't let nobody undermine you. You know what I'm saying? You have to stand tall. Stand tall. Who said stand tall? stood tall oh you know what Michael said that in the wire he was like I would have stood tall or no did Naaman say that I don't know they were both bitches anyway the next thing is play devil's advocate you know um be the double standard you know when somebody calls you a slut say what makes you so perfect you know question them hold them accountable for their statement for their allegations against you and say I unequivocally deny the allegations that were set forth against me today that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? You have to deny, 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 deny. And eventually, if you deny, 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 like O.J. Simpson did, you'll get off. Or maybe you didn't get off. Maybe you just got a kiss, like I said. But either way, people will believe that you ain't a slut no more. So, And the last thing that I want to say about the common, like, thing about being called a slut and then being, like, a hooker, they basically go, t you know, hand in hand. Hookers get paid for sex. Whatever you do in life, oh, excuse me, in the words of <laughs> the sluttiest but most successful um, video vixen, probably on the face of this planet, said in the words of Superhead herself, she said, whatever you do in life, don't let it be for nothing, honey. Okay, and look where Superhead is. She has like five or six books published. She teaches like stripper classes. I don't even think... 
I don't think she was a stripper. Maybe she was for like a short period of time. But um, she teaches like, I think she teaches like pole dancing classes. And um, all this is, I'm sure, in LA. She has like star celebrity neighbors and everything. So if you want that status you know um you have to be a hooker but I'm not saying to be a hooker I'm just saying like she was a very successful hooker but I don't see a problem with getting paid for services like hookers are providing a service they're working they're they have a job that's their job to you know suck d's whatever you want to call it <laughs> That's their job to to do that stuff. Also, when people say like soliciting sex, like prostitutes got arrested for soliciting sex. I would never be a prostitute, obviously. But why why would you arrest a prostitute for soliciting sex when you watch like music videos on television? Like, what do you think they're doing? They're selling sex, which is basically soliciting. Like when you solicit something, that means that you want attention for it so you can get paid for it. You can get money out of it. You can you can get wealthy. You can prosper from it in a financial way, you know? So um, I feel like, you know, putting prostitutes in jail because they were soliciting sex. I mean, I understand like if you don't want them half naked on, you know, the corner of Fifth and Grand, I can understand that. But I mean, if they're covered up in their, you know, pe winter coats, you know, their pea coats or whatever, and they say, you know, hey, I'm offering, you know, some box for a little bit of cash. It Listen, I mean, that's their hustle. That's what they do. I mean, I understand like you don't want it around your kids. And I know, you know, suburban parents are, but really their kids are the ones who are on all the drugs. Those strippers and hookers and prostitutes, whatever. They're providing a service. They're working just as hard as, you know, a nine to five because they're probably working 10 hours. And even though they're probably making triple the money, um they're still working they're still providing a service it takes work you know what i'm saying i mean so i've heard so <laughs> i tried to pin my ears down i did this just to see like what my ears would look like pinned back i don't know if this is what they look like if you know you had like surgery or whatever on your ears to be pinned back i did know um two girls in high school who got their ears pinned back and they ended up still looking like monkeys but, you know i don't really think that it matters whatever I don't really think this makes a difference so I think I'm just gonna keep the ears that I have yeah pretty much plus I like to hear my own voice so anyway um but yes that is my opinion on I don't know if you want to call it slut shaming I don't know if you want to call it hooker prostitute talk whatever put in the comments below how do you feel about you know prostitutes um kid I love having um conversations and discussions about other people's views i love that you know try to be respectful even though i know most people won't and you know i entertain that as well and i make videos every friday and i really appreciate you watching thank you oh my gosh the sun is killing me oh i gotta go it's getting hot in here bye bye mini maze That's, that's the next one. <laughs> this is the part where I say I don't... Woo! My throat is suffering, honey. I'm stronger than I've been before. So yeah, I don't really see a problem. Oh my God, does my forehead look like hella greasy? Oh, this thing. You know, I tried to... This is... Point where I break free Cause <laughs> You know and I love you guys I just can't take it No more No 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 more I can't take being called a slut no more Mo mo no more Mo mm, 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 mm. That's all you gotta sing Just sing it just sing it girl Just sing it girl just sing it